When it comes to wildlife management, there are times when a biologist needs to get their hands on an animal. And so there can be capture for transplant reasons, to capture animals over here, to move them over there. There can be capture for research questions. It includes animal capture. Maybe you're measuring some things. Maybe you're collecting some, some health samples. Maybe you're putting a radio collar on the animal. Biologists use a wide variety of methods to capture animals, from traps, spotlighting and netting birds, ground darting, to drop nets. But one of the main methods is using a helicopter to dart or net an animal. Some of those methods are more specific or more targeted than others. Uh, aerial darting or aerial net gunning, you can obviously be very specific, uh, taking just bucks or just cow elk. Um, obviously, you can target those animals easier. Through the years, wildlife capture methods have evolved, but safety has always been the main goal. And the fundamental objective is to, to capture the animal in a manner that's safe to the humans involved and is safe to the animals. I mean, those have been top priorities from the beginning. And while capturing wildlife is a very useful management tool, today's modern technology is allowing biologists to manage wildlife without handling them. The non-invasive uh, methodologies, collecting the hair samples for DNA, for example, camera work, that's added to the toolbox. Um, but it hasn't removed the need to go out and physically capture the animal. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.